You're listening to Tim Bolkley's Five Minute Bible Submission of Wives in 1 Peter In dealing with this question of submission in marriage I have to deal with the passage in 1 Peter chapter 3 because there Peter talks about submission in very much the same way that we read in Ephesians except that in most English translations it sounds even stronger Wives, Peter writes, in the same way be submissive to your husbands so that if any of them do not believe the word they may be won over without words by the behavior of their wives when they see the purity and reverence of your lives your beauty should not come from outward adornment such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes instead it should be that of your inner self the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in God's sight for in this way the holy women of the past who put their hope in God used to make themselves beautiful they were submissive to their own husbands like Sarah who obeyed Abraham and called him her master you are her daughters if you do what is right and do not give way to fear husbands in the same way be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers it looks as though Peter is saying wives in the same way be submissive to your husbands husbands in the same way be considerate to your wives quite a contrast isn't there between being submissive and being considerate the trouble is that the difference may not be quite as big as it looks translations always interpret here's the translation rendered more literal wives in the same way be submissive to your husbands husbands in the same way as you live with your wives now be considerate you see the in the same way would appear to mean being submissive at least it would to me but let's look closer what is in the same way I think it refers back to 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 11 and following where Peter is addressing the whole question or begins to address the whole question of living as Christians in the pagan world and at verse 18 he uses the word submit slaves submit yourselves to your masters with all respect not only to those who are good and considerate but also to those who are harsh and then goes on to explain that by submitting to a harsh master one is commendable before God in a way that submitting to a good master or receiving a beating for doing wrong isn't and then in verse 21 he says to this you were called because Christ suffered for you leaving you as an example that you should follow in his steps so slaves who submit to harsh treatment unjustly are following in Christ's footsteps that's what Christ did for us then we get the bit about wives and husbands looking more generally at submission in 1 Peter Peter uses submit hupotasso very often in the New Testament it's second in frequency to Titus that little book with just three uses 1 Peter has six and in terms of sheer number it comes after 1 Corinthians and has the same number of, of uses of submit as Romans does S submission is significant for Peter's thought and he believes that Christians should live submissive lives back at the beginning of that passage in chapter 2 submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every authority instituted among men whether to the king as supreme authority verse 13 or then in verse 14 to governors and then verse 18 slaves submit to your masters chapter 3 verse 1 wives in the same way like those slaves be submissive to your husbands and for the same reason so that if any of them don't believe they may be won over it's a witness submission is a Christian witness in a pagan world that's why when he comes to husbands he says husbands in the same way as you live with your wives treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers you see what's happening Peter like Paul is taking the standard form of the household code with its instructions on how to deal with wives how to deal with slaves how to deal with children and turning it upside down in the standard household code of the ancient world husbands were told how to rule how to govern here husbands are told to treat their wives in the same way like those slaves and those wives were told to treat their masters and their husbands and then he goes on treat them with respect respect was precisely what women did not get in the ancient world and in case we missed it as heirs with you men were heirs women normally were not Peter like Paul is taking the standard assumptions of the world he lived in and showing his readers how the gospel turns those assumptions and presuppositions upside down and it does so through mutual submission and so the very last submit in 1 Peter in chapter 5 verse 5 young men in the same way be submissive to those who are older all of you clothe yourselves with humility towards one another because God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble all of you
humble yourselves therefore under god's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time christian living in the pagan world involves submission to authority and involves mutual submission within the family of the church or the families of the church and this submission is mutual in peter as in ephesians god bless <laughs>